Hi, my name is John Skippy Limco. Welcome. This is a new power pack for alchemy. So this is the fun of alchemy, is that you can make really cool things, modulate them in real time with this really cool morph pad down here. The effects are great, all that kind of stuff. But there's one place where this power pack was desperately needed. And um, let me show you real quickly what this library has. There's gonna be one more video I'm gonna make that will be a patch walkthrough for all 160 patches. Okay, before I get into the whole library, let me show you this real quickly. This is how to install this library. I tried to make it easy. Um, it works where basically everybody's computer has the same folders inside of your home music apps. There's a place where they belong. And if you double click one of these, you'll be able to see down here, home music, audio music apps, plugin settings, alchemy. That's where you get to. And then inside of here is where the power pack goes. Inside of libraries, there's a source folder and there is an effects folder. Those are the two places that you put this additional content to make the way you work with Alchemy really amazing. So why is this power pack important and why is it that, I, I don't know why it hasn't been done to date, but basically this is how it works. In the past, if you wanted to work with the waveform synthesis of Alchemy, you have access to the virtual analog synthesis and the additive synthesis very easily. here and you can shift it and do all sorts of all sorts of cool synthesis right but if you want to work with samples if you want to load say some sort of a sample thing you have to go over here say well import audio uh, let's get to the top of here so for over here if we go alchemy samples say we want to load a guitar sound and we want to load like an acoustic guitar and we want to load a steel string. You have to select these notes. You have to make sure you're set to sampler and you have to hit import. And it takes a little while. And uh, there it is. That's the way you have to work with Alchemy right now. It's the way it's been since the beginning. Um, but there is, if you notice, this folder that says source. And if you go up to the top of the source folder, it's empty. <laughs> from the factory, it's totally empty. So what I have done is I've gone through and picked out 200 samples, maps, and if you go over here and you say guitar and you wanna say acoustic guitar, six string, boom, done. It's loaded. So you're ready to start working with it. Go, I wanna to go to layer B and I wanna load source and I want it to be a pad. I can go down here to pad. Let's choose something like noise pad, load, boom, done. So you can make patches from scratch like you can on a lot of, you know, Omnisphere has the sound source browser. That's where you can go and you can see all the samples. Inside of Alchemy, it's always said, no, you need to be a little more hardcore. You got to go here to these folders and import the samples that you want. And that's cool if you want to get to that stage. But for a lot of times, you just want to take an existing patch. Let's take a Mega Magic Dream patch. This comes with the Mega Magic Dreams library, which are all these samples that have like 12 seconds of reverb recorded into them. They sound really cool. Let's say Dream Piano. And if I wanted to, I could come over here, just turn on the B oscillator, say load source. I could go down here to the pads. Let's say let's load that noise pad or something else, interference or gliss or how about frozen ocean? Load, boom, it's there. So you can quickly create stuff and modify existing patches, adding samples. 
The other place that I added was to go down here. You could go down here to the effects, go to file, and let's say presets, like go something like chili pad. And it loads up nice effects, EQ, and chorus. Right? So this power pack, it adds a couple of just basic components. If you notice the effects, <laughs> these all list what the effects are. So you can quickly see, oh, I want something like this. And this has, oh, band pass. Oh, that's gonna be nice in the mangled. So you have all sorts of places to go to quickly make patches. You can quickly work with alchemy in ways you couldn't work with before this power pack without more work. You can do the same things, but you got to import the samples. It's more steps, okay? So the other thing that this comes with is a power pack video. If you buy the full power pack, it comes with a three-part video. I'm going to put part one on YouTube. So you can watch part one, which is the uh, intro and the interface. But the oscillator and the patch from scratch part, which is, you know that patch I played at the beginning, this. Um, uh, where is it? At your old part. When we get done in the patch from scratch, it sounds kind of like this. We use the sequencer, we're using multi-segment uh, envelopes that are looping. Then since then, I've added a kick. And I added hi-hats from noise. And it's really easy to go to C. You can change just all the different noise types. Filter it. You can make all sorts of crazy stuff. We talk about the perform in the patch from scratch. We make an entire patch, so you can see about this performance area and how to assign uh, parameters in the synthesizer to these knobs. How to quickly do it automatically without having to click any buttons. Um, there's all sorts of stuff in the video that's covered. So that's in part two and part three, which you need to buy from my website. I sell the video by itself. If you're on the PC, there's a lot there you can learn. Even if you're using Camel Audio Alchemy from years ago. They still apply. The interface is pretty much the same. Things have been moved around a little bit, but the basic layout and parameters and stuff are the same. Um, okay, so there you go. Um, thank you for your support. As always, enjoy the videos, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.